<laughs> Thank you. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Magdalena Vnuk, and today, together with my colleague Marta Świetlik, we will be presenting the results of our project, research project regarding open access publishing models. It is a study from the Polish ecosystem, and it concerns uh, mono humanistic monographs in uh, particular. Uh, this is, here is the presentation plan. I think I can skip that one. Uh, so and go straight to the uh, yeah to the topic. Okay, so we are actually a part of Operas, which you already know because Rahomira has uh, fantastically uh, introduced you to that uh, to that uh, infrastructure. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, well as an as. As Operas, we are actually uh, coordinating a national node, which is Operas PL. Uh, we are obviously, as a national node, uh, responsible for disseminating objective services and products for the Polish community. But also, we are a research-driven initiative, so we try to respond to actual needs of the Polish community. And we hope that in the future we will build a knowledge hub about research infrastructure, business models, good practices regarding open access and open access communication uh, in the humanities. Uh, okay, so our intention here was to find a sustainable open access model for Polish uh, academic publishers. So it comes from the fact that we have recognized that monograph publishing plays a special role in the humanities, which we probably would all agree that it is true. Uh, but it is uh, due to the low digitization uh, and low openness of monographs, uh, they do not get credit in citations and other impact indicators uh, in general. So uh, it also concerns especially multilingual monographs. So therefore, our aim was to find a solution to strengthen the visibility and impact of uh, monographs. So to summarize the aim of the research, uh, there were three of them, was to recognize the open access publishing ecosystem in the Polish humanities, also to diagnose shortages on its way to implement, to implement open access solutions, and to identify possible ways in which a national level collaborative model can help eliminate them. So as I said, uh, open access publishing in the humanities, although it is already widespread, it mostly concerns journal publishing. So monographs are much less uh, open and they uh, have, in terms of editing monographs, the, the, the culture is uh, of low digitization. So uh, although we as a humanist experiment with novel and digital genre, uh, they do not get credit, they are not subjects of, evalu of evaluation process in academia, and they also are not very much represented in publishing houses, so they are rarely published by uh, publishing entities or university presses for that matter. And we also know as humanists that the specificity of scholarly communication uh, in our field uh, means that we don't have that much of a need for immediate access to results. So it is kind of typical for us that we read books for two, three years from the moment when they were published. So uh, we still perceive monographs as a prestigious genre, so, and, but it is tradi traditionally created for print. And this is what we would like to change in particular. Okay, and here is the slide about the scope and the methodology of the exact research uh, that we have done, and this one will be presented by my colleague already, so go on. Hello. <laughs> um, in a way of finding a sustainable uh, open access model for the Polish academic publishers, we decided to use various methods. And starting from the survey uh, study, uh, we diagnosed the state of open ac uh, access practices. Then we were going deeper into understanding the crucial needs, uh, and we conducted several in-depth um, interviews with selected selected stakeholders. Finally, we organize a design thinking workshop to map the pain points uh, and um, to open the designing process for publishers as well. Uh, from that, we gathered um, and, uh, from what we gathered, we moved to compare analysis um, of current trends in open access publishing um, all over the world, but mostly in Europe. Um, 
The survey was conducted uh, by uh, Daria Lab in cooperation with Opera SPL uh, team in 2022, and it allowed to gather data from the broader ecosystem of open access practices in the humanities. Uh, and it's showing that uh, 22 out of 33 presses responded to our survey have published at least one book uh, in open access in 2021 uh, from the field of the humanities. Uh, so we found our early adopters group to uh, foster collaboration with. Uh, we were aiming to deepen our understanding of the whole process of um, open access publishing from the perspective of uh, publishers. So we conducted those semi-structured interviews, which uh, led to conclusion that uh, publishing open access uh, books in Poland involves extra work and additional costs, uh, depositing in institutional repositories, uh, embargo for new book uh, lasting one year, uh, PDFs as primary format, and funds coming mainly from outer grants. During the interviews, we put um, more emphasis on uh, issues related to metadata and uh, indexing in databases, which was also already recognized by publishing houses as key factor to strengthen their position in uh, academic world. So you can see a few of, um, of, of results. Uh, but the, the main result was the um, publishing process and mapping the whole process uh, at uh, all stages. Uh, we also uh, show it to our participants of the design thinking workshops, and they pointed to the last stages of the publication process as the most problematic, but also possible to improve. So the stage four and five after agreeing on the final version of the text. Um, for this uh, technical process of, uh, for this technical processing of content for the publication, uh, publishers may cooperate with external uh, entities or hire their own speciali uh, specialists. And at this stage, the topic of metadata came up for the very first time. And uh, it is customary for publishers to add metadata to a publication or have it added by some external support bodies, such as uh, university library, for example, uh, as soon as the reference version is created, uh, which means at the very end of the technical um, of, the, so of the whole process. So, uh, however, experts working with databases point out that weaving this task uh, in as early as possible in the work could make this more efficient and improve the quality of the final deposited metadata. So th that's uh, one of the uh, biggest outcome we, we get from um, this part. And uh, in this presentation, uh, we are focusing on a possible collaborative uh, solution, which was actually pointed out by the participants of this uh, workshop themselves. Uh, so uh, mapping needs, challenges, and shortages during the workshop um, let us know that, that some of the areas um, depend, depend upon altern, uh, external factors, while part of them are uh, surmountable by uh, cooperation. Yeah, so we can go on. <laughs> mm, publishers are very bothered by the lack of standardized rules for online access uh, they could use in their daily practice. Uh, and also licensing and contracts with authors for uh, open access are still a challenge. And those standards and legal issues are something that can be somehow uh, sorted out by cooperation between them, uh, between the publishers and, and some other stakeholders. Also, uh, visibility and metadata. Uh, visibility is becoming the biggest need and challenge, more important than sales income, which is quite uh, interesting and also typical for the um, scientific um, activities uh, in Poland. <laughs> Editors uh, devote more and more time to preparing new formats of sharing metadata, and therefore there is a need for automatization of those preparing and sharing of metadata process. 
And in terms of technical capacity, there's also place for uh, common um, common uh, cooperation. And uh, small entities have low access to software and machines. So implementing their own instance of publishing management software is often too big of a challenge. Uh, so there is a part of uh, where the community can step in and create some kind of um, common uh, solution for that. Editors need more technical training, which could help them uh, implement small changes, such as automatization of specific tasks. And as a result of those um, design thinking workshop, workshop, it was clear that we need to search for a solution in collaborative model. Uh, and it was expressed by uh, one of the participants. Uh, I can read the quotation here. My dream is to implement such a system like OMP, meaning Open Monograph Press. And I hope that after implementation, you will help build this alliance. So obviously, there was also another solution developed by others, like some kind of data aggregator for uh, monographs or common platform for editors, uh, or even such a small um, steps like creating common uh, mailing list or um, inviting everyone for meetups and knowledge exchange. We also analyzed uh, various initiatives and collaborative projects in open access uh, all around the world. And one of them uh, which we particularly focused on is um, Open Book Collective. But since we are here in Austria, it is also worth mentioning the FVF ebook library, an open access repository for publications provided free online access to uh, publications funded by FBF since December 2011. And as valuable collaborative model, we focused on this open book publishers from um, Britain, which is based on those three main features we listed here. And so first of all, it is publishing service for scholarly presses, uh, founded from grants and uh, donations, uh, library memberships and sales. Uh, Secondly, it's sharing pieces of software uh, and servers uh, provided by this part of those initiative um, uh, research and development unit, which is funded separately. Uh, and thirdly, it is providing a model freemium, which means that there is open access for PDFs and other formats or printed editions are paid, which can also help cover the costs. And going back to Magda. <laughs> yeah, I just will, will wrap, wrap up what, what we have said. Uh, okay, so here what you see is a workflow of what we have done and what we are planning to do next. This workflow is based on uh, user experience design methodology. So firstly, uh, we discovered the problem and we discovered in general that the open access field in Poland uh, needs some uh, improvements in terms of open access to monographs. It, it, actually, this problem is not typical only for Poland. This is the more European problem, which I will tell maybe a little bit more in the, in the next uh, slide. So then, after this discovery, we, uh, we, we got to define what actually the problem is, which we did by this design thinking method and design thinking workshop. We, uh, we have uh, collaborated with uh, publishers, with other stakeholders, so we already know that the problems uh, concern mainly the visibility of monographs because they are multilingual, because they are under-digitized, most of them are in print. Uh, so what we have to do next is to go to the development phase and prototype some collaborative model for open access monograph publishing in Poland. We think of uh, implementing open monograph press firstly, but also uh, we are thinking of simpler, maybe uh, a little bit less expensive ways of uh, collaboration, such as uh, knowledge exchange, meetups, but also maybe improving uh, metadata of, uh, of monographs in, in general collaborating with uh, publishers in terms of how they uh, curate their metadata. And hopefully, uh, in the future, we'll be able to deliver a solution, which we plan to do with a grant we will apply for soon, soon enough, I guess. Uh, 
Yeah, so the next slide is, uh, yeah, it shows, uh, it shows how we try to find synergies in everything we do uh, as operas also, but also as an institute of literary research. So here in the uh, orange rectangles, we can see the uh, projects that operas is right now conducting. This is Diamas, Palomira, and Craft OA. And especially Palomira is, uh, is about monographs. It's about open policies to monographs in Europe. Europe in general, not only in Europe, I guess there are some countries we are uh, researching that are outside of Europe. But as I said, uh, we recognize that the problem of open access to monographs, especially in the humanities, is, very, is big and it's widespread, not only in Poland. Uh, in, the, uh, in the yellow rectangles, we have actions we are conducting right now and we are planning to conduct or to improve ourselves on. Uh, with the white rectangles, we see our solutions from the uh, workshop, uh, yeah, from the design thinking workshop. And in general, everything we do right now, we try to focus around uh, monographs and opening uh, open access to monographs. So I, I hope this, uh, this, this kind of explains everything that we do. If you have any questions, please just go on.